Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold shape, find Anything. All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button. If you happen to be stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck, and I am a LTL driver for Estes Express. And you might say, well, uh, what do you do? Well, I drive, uh, I'm actually an extra board, but I'm covering a run, or covering the Kansas City run. Well, tonight I'm covering another run, so we'll get to that in a minute. But this is what I do right here. Uh, we have a lead trailer that we use a dolly to connect to our rear trailer, and um, we call those little trailers pups. Yeah, they're 28 foot long versus your, your standard 53 footer that you would see on most of the trucks that you see out there on the road. Um, you might say, well, why do you have these two different trailers? Why do y'all do that for? Uh, the biggest reason why is it allows us to move freight from one terminal to, a t to another terminal more efficiently. So like this guy right here, he may have that first trailer may be a San Antonio tra San Antonio. So that means that entire trailer is going to San Antonio. Well, his rear one is going to Dallas. And so he's able to take both of those trailers together down to Dallas. And then he'll drop this off and another driver will take that San Antonio and maybe grab another San Antonio and go down to San Antonio. So you're able to move freight um, that may be going to multiple terminals at one time. Hope that kind of helps explain the biggest reason why we do we, we drive these uh, so what we're doing is uh, we are covering normally I'm covering a Kansas City run but tonight I am covering a uh, meat run so well it's like a hybrid it's sort of meat and then it's also sort of uh, uh, going to another terminal so what I'm doing is I'm gonna leave Tulsa with two trailers one of the trailers, I believe, is going to Bloomington. The other one's got freight for Springfield, Missouri, and, it, uh, and something else. I can't remember. I think maybe St. Louis. So I'm going to be going to Springfield. They've already told me the one that I'm going to leave this in front of is my rear trailer. And what we do, I forgot to tell you earlier, we connect these together based upon the weight that's in the trailer. So this right here is going to be the lightest of my two trailers, so I'm going to leave... This right here is called a dolly, right here in front of it. So I'm gonna go from here to Springfield, Missouri. I'm going to break this set down, put them indoors, maybe. I have to call when I'm headed that way and they'll let me know. And there may be freight on here that's staying in Springfield and other freight in here that's going to Bloomington or whatever the case may be. Um, And then they're going to redo the trailers, and I'm going to rehook a set back up. Maybe the same two trailers, could be two different trailers. And then I'm headed about 85 miles up 244 to meet another driver. Now this driver, I am not. I've never run this run. I only know how it works in theory. So, <laughs> so hopefully the theory uh, works well for us tonight. Uh, but we will meet him. He's about, it's about 84 miles uh, towards St. Louis at a, I believe it's a road runner. I know the exit when we get there. Um, and then we're going to swap trailers, swap sets. So I'm gonna drop the set. You guys will see all this. I'm just kind of telling you how it's gonna work. But, and then I'm gonna take those, that set of trailers back to Springfield. We're gonna break that set and then ultimately get to where we're bringing back freight just for 
Tulsa. Or it could be a Tulsa trailer and an Oklahoma City trailer. So that's the gist of what we're doing tonight. I'm going to bring you along. Uh, we're liable to get some weather. And the terminal that I'm going to in Springfield, you guys have been here for a while, then you already know uh, the condition that terminal can get in when it rains. So you guys will be able to see that if you're new. Maybe you've never been there with me when I was on the extra board. We'll... We'll take a peek and you guys can see all that happen. So I'm gonna, I'm waiting for them to close down these trailers. I'm gonna hook them up and then we'll be ready to. All right, we've got it hooked up and we are going. I just sent a text message uh, to the guy that I'm meeting, letting him know that I'm leaving our yard headed to Springfield. And I found out he's actually coming from Bloomington, uh, Indiana. Half mile. Take Bloomington, around. Illinois, Welcome Bloomington, Indiana. Heck, I don't know. <laughs> I know he's coming from Bloomington. But, uh, so he, his part of the run, this run, this part of the run does all the work as far as the, all the hooks and everything. Because this has six dropping hooks. And his, he just basically hooks a set in Bloomington and drives 300 and some, you know, little maybe a little over 300 miles to the meet point and then meets me. So, uh, yeah, he's got the good end of this thing. <laughs> he's, uh, but he's also, uh, again, he's also filling in tonight, too. So we're both newbies at this route. I don't know. Maybe he's, he's done it before. But, uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys when we get to, uh, we do have to go through one scale. And tonight is the final night of the DOT Blitz. Uh, so if I get yanked into there, then I'll fire up the camera and we'll see what ends up happening with it. Alright, we are moving into the great state of Missouri. Show me state. Just passed in. We've got the way station. I'm going to turn my hat a little bit so you guys can see down here the, my GPS. Um, of course, it gives me all my information. I've got 79 miles till I get to uh, the exit for the terminal. If I press this button right here. It shows me that the way station is in 1.9 miles. We'll take it off cruise. Hey, we got the pre-pass. We got the pre-pass. See the green light right here? So what that means is I don't have to go into the scale. The scale is open, I guarantee you, because it's blitz day, blitz week, blitz last three days, I guess I should say. But down here, you'll notice it says 1.5 miles. What I like about this, you know, my GPS, uh, which is the OTR, Garmin OTR 1000, not only is it nice and big, but that kind of helps you prevent from, you know, going past a way station. You can kind of see how far it is above you, or how far it is ahead of you. If you also notice right there below it, it says loves 2.3 miles. I have mine programmed in to show me all the, the loves. Uh, on my route so if I ever needed to stop for fuel or something like that then or you know take a break it's all there press that top button again and we're back to all of our great data that I love because I'm all about that information all right we're coming up <laughs> we're coming up on the terminal here Nagatha she likes to she likes to do a lot of talking when you start getting close which is good um, what's gonna go down in this terminal right here is I am going to take this lead trailer. I am going to take this lead trailer and uh, put it against the fence back here. And then I'm going to take this rear trailer and put it to one of these doors right here. They're going to strip some freight off of it that's theirs. And then. Um, yeah, they're going to strip some freight off of that's theirs. The uh, rest of it is Bloomington. They're going to put the rest of the uh, their Bloomington on that rear trailer. And then I'm going to rehook all that up and then head to where I need to go. Yes, we are available. All that good, fun job and stuff here. Let's go back over here. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can do it. Here we go. Drop. Okay, so we're on yard move, so I don't think I'm going to be here longer than 30 minutes, but who knows. Uh, so I'm going to get this done, and then uh, I'll see you guys when I get out of here. All right, we were there for about 27 minutes. I went ahead and waited three minutes so I could get my full clock back. 
and uh, we are headed to meet our meat guy. Uh, the way it will work when I meet with him is basically we're just going to swap sets and then uh, I'm going to head back here and then usually I'll keep one of the trailers that he gives me. It's going to be a Tulsa trailer and then they're going to be building another Tulsa trailer back there. Then exit right. Uh, okay. So that's kind of how that will work. And then what I'm bringing back to them, usually one of the trailers is theirs and one is ours. Uh, or a trailer maybe going to Oklahoma City or there's no telling what. Um, but I'll let you know once we get there and kind of look at the bills and see what we've got. So both of these trailers that I've got right here are both Bloomington. They're both going to that terminal. That's a, uh, a break bulk area. And then it's going to be, it, some of it may be their actual freight and some of it may be going further up north and northeast. All right, we're coming up on our exit here, exit 163. We're going to be meeting right over at that little gas station over there. Truck stop slash gas station. Right there where that uh, RV is is normally where we, he said they meet. Because normally they right here where he's at, one of us one of them will be here and then one's right here and they just swap and then take off. But sometimes you got to deal with this stuff. I'm kind of blocking the whole. I'm blocking the whole thing up, and then we've got, this is what I've got to deal with going back, so Springfield just got hammered, so that means that yard's going to be a soupy mess, um, that yard doesn't, I, I know I've mentioned it before, but it's not paved, and it's like white rock, so it gets everywhere, yeah, they're getting just hammered right now, so, and it looks like it's going to be traveling right up 44, and I'm going to be in that, hopefully, hopefully to dissipate a little bit. Alright, we are on our way. Right there's our meat guy. Super nice guy. He goes, You beat me here. I said, Yes, sir. Not by much, though. We got here, he got here maybe about 15 minutes after me. Alright, so now we're on our way back to, uh, back to Springfield. Oh, here. A little bumpy. I tell you what, if y'all guys have traveled this, man, there's, I mean, I, I'm, when I say hills, I'm from the south, okay? We're not talking about hills like in California or Oregon or Donner's Pass, or, <laughs> but they got some hills over here. All right, guys, we'll see you back at Springfield. Hopefully, it's not too much of a mess. Well, guys, I think there was a song by Eddie Rabbit that said, I love the rainy night. Man, the only time I like rainy nights is when I'm sleeping in it. <laughs> Not out here driving in it. Man, I don't know if you guys can see the radar down there, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I got a whole string of it getting pretty red between here and Springfield. I've got 59 miles uh, for my exit, so it's about 61 miles to the actual terminal. And we about to be facing this right here the whole way. At least there ain't a whole lot of people out here. You know, it's uh, 2 12 a.m. All right, we're getting here to the to the terminal. Arriving at Springfield SPM 161 on the left. In one quarter mile, keep right to North Glenstone Avenue. I'm going to drop this rear trailer and then we're going to go around and get our, they're showing it, it's still over on the dock, so. See, here's the, it's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be worse than this. try to do is when I get over to the other side I'm going to try to uh, cowboy it in there <laughs> so we'll see how well that works 
because I don't want to have to handle this dolly on this any more than I have to so I'm going to leave this hooked up so that the air continues within the dolly and I can maneuver it okay we're going to go over here and look for trailer 288-154 see it's just hard to push dollies on this stuff I mean, if I have to, I'll have to, but I don't know how much room is going to be over here because it's still showing that it's in the, it's in the dock, 288, 154. Right, let me ch double check, see if they have a Moody since I, no, they're still showing it's there. So, 288, 154. Oh, good, he's leaving. I might have enough room now. Thing is, I hope it's not right here in front of this. Because I don't think I'll be able to get far enough to get this dolly straight. 288, 154, right there it is. Mm, I might be able to. Let me go put this nose stand up. People ask all the time, what's this What's this stand for, Chuck? Uh, it's so that whenever they're in these with uh, forklifts that it doesn't tip forward. Okay. Let's see if we got enough room. This might work out just just right. Oh, look at there. If I get this in one shot, no. <laughs> if, I get, if I get this in one shot, I'll be amazed. Going through. Oh, that's a guy from our, my terminal. That's Ike. Goodness, guys, we might be able to get this. Oh, almost, almost. Look at there. Where's that? That's all right. We're we're on the right path here. Hope y'all guys can see that. I think we I think we got it. By golly. Mud pit. Well, <laughs> looky there. Looky there. Yep.
by golly. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, get this pulled over here and I'm gonna do a pre-trip on everything. And then we'll head to Tulsa. We're 183 miles away. Uh, should get there about, uh, probably about 6.30, 6.45, somewhere in there. And then we'll break this set down. I'll see you guys when we get to Tulsa. Wow. My goodness. It's like this all the way to Tulsa, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing any filming when I get there and breaking a set. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's like this even on the other side of Tulsa. But, uh, guys, I just want to thank you so much for stopping by the channel. And uh, if you're not subscribed, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button. But, guys, until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.